Hello my loves, in with me here and welcome back to my channel. Today uh, we will be starting to read a new book. Uh, this book has been on my list for a while. It's the first book in the Lunar Chronicles. It is Cinder. So um, I've wanted this book for a little while and then I got it for this winter break. We are reading Cinder by Melissa Mayer. As far as I know, that is how you pronounce it. I'm not very sure. This is my first time dabbling in book vlogging, so we'll see how it goes. Supposedly, it's an easy read, and I've been in a reading slump for a... I've gone months without reading. <laughs> Random dance. We're going to dance into the next clip where I give my review. See you in a minute. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah. Now I'm thinking now, now I'm thinking now. Why the cart the June blues, yeah. I wanna try myself inside the juice, yeah. You know I keep on running from. And I have returned. I am currently now at chapter 3. Yeah, I kind of forgot to stop and take notes and like give my thoughts. <laughs> but I have done some adaptations for the first two chapters. Not much yet, but I'm very proud I haven't done that before. So thus far it's good. Not what I was expecting. I'm very happy that other strange lady, that's name I can't pronounce, got the plague. Good for her. I think I can see where this is going with the thing that the sister is going to get sick. We've been introduced to the stepmother now and the two stepsisters, Pearl and Peony, I believe. She's going to fall ill because Cinder was at the booth at the marketplace with the strange lady that had the plague. There's this blue tab for sad. Uh, when you've read They Both Die at the End and Song of Achilles, if it's not going to make me cry my eyes out, it's not sad. That's been the first two chapters. And I'll see you guys then when I have more to say about the reads. Bye guys. Okay guys, so I now have a theory. <laughs> So, in chapter, I don't know. So, on page 44, I'm not sure, I think it's chapter 4, there is a part where they talk about the moon people. I'm not going to try. <laughs> and um, they talk about Princess Celine that was killed in her nursery with her nanny. And they say, I'm a quote to you. Um, some conspiracy theorists thought that the princess had survived and was still alive somewhere. So I think it's Cinder, you know. And then um, later on they say, after all, they found traces of the child's flesh in the ashes. So because Cinder, of course, only has one leg. And I suspect that that flesh was just her other leg. That's been by. <laughs> Pretty obvious. So we haven't gotten to the ball yet. We're still in the junkyard with Peony and the robot's name that I can't pronounce. So that's what my thoughts are thus far. I'll see you guys in like a second. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something that feeds her. Update. Um, so Peony now has the plague. I believe the plague is from the rats. That's my theory, although it's pretty obvious. And I suspect Cinder can't get the plague because she is a half cyborg. Is a cyborg. Uh, which seems pretty obvious. 
despite the redirect because of the whole thing with the cyborg testing and nobody really knowing anything um i think that she didn't get the plague from cinder because cinder doesn't have the plague um <laughs> because um of the thick ass rat that was just chilling in the car the car is so cute though it's like a full ass pumpkin and i really like the car <laughs> but um yeah this is eh, my adaptations thus far it's getting colorful and i like it colorful um i've added a lot more blue <laughs> as you can see from the last chapter i've now reached chapter five um out of i don't know how many <laughs> but so and i'll see you guys after chapter five i believe or when something interesting happens <laughs> I'm currently at the part where Cinder is at the strange scientist place. I don't know where you volunteer for research about the plague. And thus far, she is like over thirty percent non-human, and she's a good match because she's young and healthy and whatnot. Um, so there's a strange person, but uh, she ended up there because of the stepmother who volunteered her because she's her guardian and she was the reason that Peony, I think that's her name, I don't know how to say it, <laughs> because Peony had gotten the plague and she says that it's Sarah's fault, so now she's volunteered for research about the plague and she's been a good batch. <laughs> so but that's how far I've gotten and it's getting dark now. I think that's everything we're going to read for today. I'll pick up again where I left off tomorrow and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So besties, it's day two. I haven't started reading yet. I've just woken up and put on sweatpants. Um, I'm not doing my makeup today because my skin is breaking out and it's not working. <laughs> um, my skin's like very dry and it's not oh i'm so tired man i went to sleep half past 11. i think reading another book very smart of us put one book down just start another one but um i'll read as i go today and probably keep you updated again i don't know i'm sorry i'm very tired <laughs> Okay, so um, I know I said I wasn't going to put on makeup because my eyes are dying. They are. Um, so I just put on mascara and blush and highlight. Er, good job. <laughs> so, so I look half decent. I don't know. But I just finished chapter 10. I just finished chapter 10 and at the end of chapter 10... The strange guy just wanted to have like a meeting with Cinder. So like he moved her to another lab room because um, they injected her with the plague thing and the tracking thing. <laughs> I'm not used to terms, okay? Okay. So they used the tracking device thing to track where the plagues 
virus is going like and so they moved her to another room to talk to her and then she wanted to attack like the guy with her like tools that she just had stuffed in her leg you know as you do and then she couldn't and had these thoughts about him being the sweet old guy and stuff and then her orange light blinked which i don't think i've mentioned before but she has this orange light that blinks every time that someone lies but he didn't say anything so my theory thus far about that would be that any thought that she has that's just a lie about another person is like going to trigger it i don't know I've reached chapter 15 I think uh, I've had like notes of my series on top and like I've been running out of notes posted notes now it's a problem now <laughs> but I think I'm going to stop reading for today because the light is failing me Kai's returned and he found cinder in the like lab thing and now some Cinder had a weird thing with her neck where she just like can feel things now. But um, so Cinder is now like she's allowed to roam around because they've realized that she's valuable because she can't get sick. They haven't told the prince yet and they want the prince to marry the strange ass queen. But um, now the prince is looking for... The princess that died at three years old that I think is Cinder because of the flesh that was found. I have a theory that the android that Cinder is supposed to fix has information about Princess Celine, I think that's how you say it. I don't know. I struggle with names. But I think that it has information about her or the plague at least. I'm almost done with Cinder. I'm at the last book, um, but now I'm going to take a break. We are going out to have tea and cake. We now know that the Lunars brought the plague, you know, like the rats brought the plague to Europe and so on. Um, then there was a whole thing about like her being a shell, but that contrasts to the theory that she is the princess, so it's very obvious that it's not. And then it was later confirmed that the chip thingy in her neck is like a lock on her magic abilities. And then the doctor also, he's also a lunar, and he left because the queen killed his daughter that was also a shell. But I have a theory that his daughter is also the princess and thus the girl because <laughs> the girl, Cinder, because um, he has also said that she's very special and so on and he also said that she, well, so at first he explained that she's a shell, that she was a shell and that's why she was murdered because like his wife told the queen and gave them up but then also he later on said that she would have been Cinder's age so Kai still doesn't know that she's a cyborg or a lunar <laughs> and it's very frustrating because like just tell him and peony died then they gave the little boy from the market at the very start of the book he gave she gave the antidote to him because the queen brought the antidote from high above as a like marry me and i'll give you this um but they're going to try and copy the antidote and then like distribute it <laughs> thus far cinder has gotten the like pumpkin car to work and kai just came to the doll thingy and now cinder's being very mean and i'm like dying that's what it's been thus far thus has been the update of my thoughts thus far um i'll keep you updated and we're leaving in like a little bit i have like less than 100 pages left we're going to push through and we're going to finish this book then i'll see you guys in a little bit So I finally finished the book after a week and a half 
it was much slower than I expected to read it and halfway through I lo lost the motivation to read at all because of the slow moving plot which we will get to. As you can see we are in a poorly made up outfit inspired by Cinder herself. I heard a lot of mixed opinions on Cinder and, the, and Marissa Mayer in general and that some of her books are considered problematic. She was considered problematic because she writes a whole lot of Asian characters and has a lot of Asian representation and then when there was a lot of issues concerning the Asian community, when a lot of discrimination struck the Asian community, Marissa did not really speak up or anything. In young adult fiction and fantasy they are usually making up names of places myself included um in the books that i'm currently writing there is so many names that i struggle to pronounce even but uh that's why i even like just ignore the names and gloss over them so when i read the description <laughs> the summary of the plot and so on I did say New Beijing as New Beninging for like half of the video. Casual outfit change. Now on to the book. So at the very start of the book, the plot is very slow moving. And when I started reading, I said that there wasn't very good world building. And I couldn't really see why this was um, recommended as a book to introduce you to young adult. And um, at the end, it makes a lot of more sense. So... Uh, the reviews I've seen on this hasn't really taken into consideration why this is recommended as an introduction to young adult fantasy or young adult in general. So people were really upset about the plot being so predictable. And number one, bestie, it's a Cinderella retelling. <laughs> I wouldn't really like say you should be expecting much. There is a little bit of twist put in it with Cinderella being a cyborg and I really liked that they didn't go with the plot where she meets the prince at the ball but much before that and they actually build a relationship so a lot of people had a lot of things to say about the plot being predictable but that's why I think it's such a good to young adult fantasy purely because it's an easy read the character building is simple enough for new readers who haven't really read much so it's easy to understand plot it's easy to read and get through in a short time this was the book i've read the quickest thus far with my daily breaks in between because i had things to do and people to be and you know <laughs> but um i have mixed feelings on this book at the very start we are introduced to cinder and cinder is in the marketplace where she is working in her like little shack <laughs> So, at the very start, we are introduced to most of our main characters. So, Cinder, she is a mechanic, she's a cyborg, and this she keeps from everyone. She has she was brought from Europe by a man whose wife is the stepmother. Uh, I think her name's Audrey, if that's how you pronounce it. She has At the start, she has two stepsisters, Pearl and Peony, and she also has an android. I think it's called Inko, but that's like her little family. Right at the start, we're introduced to Prince Kai. Kai is hands down my favorite character. Um, <laughs> so from the get-go, Cinder does not really like Kai. She doesn't see why he is so hyped up. He's like an overrated prince. But, you know, she grows to like him because he is very charming and whatever, and he polishes her foot. There was not my favorite character. I did not very much enjoy her. As you read the book, you grow to like her. I enjoyed the pumpkin car. It was one of my favorite things. Plague. The plague is very similar to the Black Plague that was in Europe from the rats and so on, with the symptoms being very similar to fevers and chills and your fingers get black and there's like black splotches and so on. I did a very long Google. <laughs> From the start, I, I enjoyed Kai. I could see why he is pretty charming. He is quite charming. But that is the thing with men written by women. Start, he's very much like a prince and like, you know, your basic ash rich boy. <laughs> and he has this comfortable life and so on and then at the end he's the emperor and now he has to think for a bunch of people but i did enjoy that he chose to throw cinder in the prison <laughs> we were also introduced to the next few books i think it's the first three but we were 
introduced to winter we know that winter is queen lava cake i'm gonna try her name <laughs> it's her stepdaughter and of course winter is the retelling of snow white and we were also introduced to grace uh she's a programmer for princess lava cake or whatever her name is um <laughs> and she of course is the third book and they have these like monster looking dudes you know but i think that one of them are like i'm gonna come to earth you know i'm looking forward to war but i think that would be it for this vlog thank you for joining me in this roller coaster of things and thoughts of that <laughs> give some of your thoughts in the comments below about what you think about this book as well because i'd like to hear some of your opinions as well see where you differ from me so Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, all my socials are in the description below. I am in with me on all social media platforms. If you would like to see more content like this, please consider liking and subscribing so I know what you like. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. One, two, three, fuck it.